Well, that was certainly a, a defensive battle by both teams, and, and I thought our young ladies really came out and did a decent job defensively in the first half, but did a really nice job defensively in the second half. And, you know, we, we talk about Faith Ahim is such a talented young lady, so hard to guard, and you can't really guard her with one kid. All five players have, have to assume that responsibility. And, and I thought our young ladies did a nice job of having awareness. Uh, but she's, she creates so much for them. Uh, I thought our, the two young ladies who are here, uh, Allison Arms, are probably the best game that she's played defensively in her career, that, at least that, that we've seen. And then Kate Liverhills came in the game and really gave us a boost and uh, really did some nice things and secured some rebounds and made some plays for us on both ends of the court. So certainly excited for an opportunity to play tomorrow in the championship game. And now it's important that we get some rest and we get recovered and we get ready to go again. Let's take questions for the student athletes. Show of hands, we do have a microphone we need to get over to you. And if you could give name and affiliation the first time around, that would be helpful, please. We'll start right here in the second row. Travis Flossing from Kelly TV. Allison, it felt like there was a more uh, patient approach to the game today. You still hit eight three pointers, but seemed to settle in, especially in the second half on offense, and just kind of take your time and, and approach it that way. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd say going into the game, that was kind of our focus, just taking care of the ball, um, letting our plays run through, and uh, letting them take, like letting our movements take care of themselves. We're gonna take one in the front row here. Kate, there was a lot of bodies on the floor in that game. Is that kind of the, the game you anticipated? Um, yeah, definitely. Anytime tournament time comes around, you have. A much increased level of physicality, and I think that's been very true for our tournament, especially the Summit League, um, which is a pretty physical league in itself. But I think tournament time, um, a lot of times you get to just play more. The refs kind of let you play, and you just kind of got to battle through those things. Um, so, yeah, I think it was very much anticipated. I know you haven't had much time to digest this, but you're in the championship game now. That has to feel pretty good. Yeah, it feels awesome. Um, personally, I've this is a little be my third time there and I'm just really excited as a senior it's kind of a crazy feeling you're you're there and it's just it means a lot so I'm very excited we're gonna take one all the way in the back here Uh, like Coach told us uh, in the locker room after the game, she's like, enjoy the moment, enjoy right now, go visit with your family, celebrate. But as soon as you come back to this locker room, it's time to recover and it's time to refocus on tomorrow. And you just got to block everything out and, yeah, enjoy the freshest present. Um, yeah, I definitely agree. Our team does a really good job of balancing when to celebrate and then knowing when to buckle down and get serious. Um, coach might not think we're being very serious all the time, but um, we're a very tight-knit, fun group. And so I think when we do um, get a chance to kind of celebrate and have fun with it, we do. But then when it's time to go, we're ready. Other questions for the student athletes? I'm going to take one right back here in the fourth row. <laughs> well, uh, our manager's brought Guitar Hero, so we've been playing that a lot. <laughs> but, so that's no. just for, for you guys just to go have fun. Yeah, um, I mean, there's not, we all have our own routines and we kind of stick to those. But otherwise, like I said, we're all just really close. So we just kind of hang out, um, get rested up, kind of get our minds off of things and just get ready to go the next day. Okay, we're going to do a follow-up. Okay, so obviously you're where you want to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're in the championship game. Very familiar with South Dakota State. Yep. Obviously, your rival. Mm -hmm. What do you have to do besides put the ball in the basket more than that? What do you have to do? Um, well, depending on the next game, um, either team, we just got to really um, focus on our game plan defensively, whatever that may be. Both of those teams that are playing right now are great, um, and they have very different schemes of offense. And so we're just really going to have to um, buckle down and listen to our coaches and see what they have prepared for us and go from there. Anything else for the student athletes? We can take one, one more question, one, two more questions. Okay, if nothing, ladies, we're going to go ahead and excuse you back to the locker room. Thank you. We appreciate your time. Congratulations. We'll see you tomorrow.
Huh? Tight later. Okay. Charlie. Thank you. And we'll go ahead and continue with questions for Coach. Microphone's down here in front. Mick, do you have a question? I'll start there. John, how about the uh, three-pointer at the end of the third for Monica? Um, it seemed like that was something that really gave you a boost at a time when you kind of needed it. Well, we really did need a boost at that point in time, and certainly as well into the fourth quarter. We Both teams are really good defensive teams, and there are times when our offense really struggles to get good shots or – when we get good shots, finish at the rim because it's you know you're playing against some athletes who are, are being physical around the rim and it's tough to finish. So at that point in time, we actually were subbing so that we could get a little bit of a break for a couple of our kids. Put in some put in Monica to help us out, and they we, I give Misty and her staff a great deal of credit because each time that we've played them, they've given us a completely different look in their man defense, and our players have made some of the adjustments, and so they were really helping off of of Monica in that situation she stepped up and hit a really big shot and, and then came right back out of the game her reward was sit back down and cheer for your teammates and what makes this group a, a unique group and a special group is that there were matchups today which, which maybe favored some of our players more than others and we saw Chloe Lamb played a lot more than maybe she has in some other games and and this group of young ladies whether they're on the bench whether they're on the court they're cheering for their teammates they understand they trust and and really give, give us some great effort to put us in a position to be successful. Another question here in the front row. Jerry from ATPD. <laughs> uh, I know you talked about this this season before, but was defense something you identified after last year? That needed some improvements in the potential? Yeah, our defense last year wasn't very good. And, and this year it's much, much improved. And you could see it in the fourth quarter of this game in trying to find ways to limit opportunities for Oral Roberts. The hard part for us was getting some defensive rebounds. They're a very athletic team. We're not very big. Those two combined. And, and I thought at that point in time we probably had some of our best defensive rebounders in the game. We still couldn't come up with the basketball for stretches. And then if it looked like pinball out there for a little while. Balls were flying everywhere and there were bodies everywhere and players were getting after it. And one of the officials got taken out at one point in time. I mean, it was, there were people, do you guys see that? There were people flying everywhere. We tried to get a foul called on one of their players because she took them out, but that didn't happen either. But it was, it was just a, it was a fun opportunity for our young ladies. And they, they've really dug in defensively and put themselves in a position now to compete for a championship. We have one in the far back left. Well, I think what's been interesting for our group, and we said this after our first round game, we're a team that when we can practice and, and really drill some things that help us defend teams, we typically have done a pretty good job. Now we go into this next game without that opportunity to do that. We'll know who we play by the time we you know, shoot around tomorrow morning, but we probably won't spend much time really doing many breakdown defensive drills, although rest assured I'm sure we'll have one or two in there. But it, this group now has to carry things over and, and put ourselves in a position uh, the best position that we can defensively. You know, offensively, whichever team that we play, whether it's Western Illinois, Western Illinois gives a lot of teams fits with their their zone, and South Dakota State really is tough to score on. So, you know, we got to look at both ends ends of the ball and look at opportunities for us to get stops without necessarily practicing the adjustments that we have to make. And I thought this group today did a good job with that. We told them at halftime we have to stick to some defensive principles. There are some situations where we know what we have to do, but we're still not doing a good job of that. And I thought our, our kids came out of the locker room at halftime and made some of those adjustments. Now you got to trust those things and you got to get them done. Fourth row. Thank you, Joan. This is kind of big time. Yeah, it is big time. I've known Joan for a, real, for a long time, in my dear career, so this is kind of cool. Thank you. Um, you're a national championship coach, okay? And you, so to do that is big time to win a D2 title, right? Yes, thank you. How are you going to lean on that to help you win tomorrow? Well, I think what's really important for us is that we, we talk about 
uh, living in the precious present, that's really important. But we also talk about the toughness that it takes, the togetherness that it takes. And, and Kate talked about the fact that our kids are, if you come in our locker room before a game, you wouldn't know that we were playing a basketball game. You think that we were going to go, I don't know, hang out together and, and just relax and have fun because they're, they're having a good time, they're dancing. So that togetherness piece is really important. The toughness piece is really important. And then the thing that we talk a lot about is find a way, you know, whatever it takes. And sometimes you go into tournament games and you expect it to be a grind-out defensive battle and all of a sudden it ends up being an offensive shootout. Sometimes you expect the shootout and then it ends up being a defensive battle. You know, and, and from our kids, that find a way mentality, certain players might be better matched up in certain situations and they've trusted that. So those three things are really important for us going into tomorrow's game. Do we have any other questions for coach? We can take, let's take one more right here. Well, I can say this. It wasn't as if our non-conference schedule was very easy and, and we struggled at times. But I, I remember I remember this specific situation when we had lost to Tulsa at home and it was a tough loss for us. We came back and we practiced and we had just lost at Stephen F. Austin. They're really tough on the road as well. And then we have our next opportunity to play at home. And I think we're playing at that point in time Riverside. And J.C. Bradley is on the bench at the end of the game or towards the end of the game. And she looks at her teammates and she says, we find a way. <laughs> we find a way. And at that point in time, I thought, this kid's not in the game right now. And yet she is doing everything she can from a leadership standpoint to motivate her teammates to, to find a way to get it done. And I might have paraphrased a few things in there just so you guys know. But <laughs> truth be told. But I thought at that point in time, when I looked at, at our young ladies, that they really had the determination to, to get it done. You know, then we played North Dakota at home, and we're down, I think, 17 at the end of the first quarter, and find a way and don't re take a lead until there are, I think, two minutes to go, if that, in the game. Might have even been less than that. So those two were right around the same time. And I, at that point in time, realized this group of kids really, really cares. They're really locked in and, and have a lot of fun doing it.